on my side!
creators. Okay, okay, okay. Started getting a grip. You're starting to lose your cool. People see you acting this way and they'll stay as far away as possible. Okay, I'm calm. <laughs> calm. I'm calm now. Hmm. Let's see. I couldn't steal the Heaven's Cup. I can't get Racer to cheat. How am I going to get my hands on the trophy? Thinking, thinking, thinking. Oh, yes! <laughs> A little accident should slow things down. Oh, here comes my perfect test dummy right now. Do, 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 do. Give me gas in my Ford. Keep me trucking for the Lord. Give me gas in my Ford, I pray. Give me gas in my Ford. Keep me trucking for the Lord. Give me truck until the break of day. Excuse me. Sing, Hosanna. Excuse me. Sing. Oh, were, were you talking to me? What, are you deaf or something? I had to yell to get your attention. Hey, you're a different racer. What happened to that other dipstick? I mean, the other racer. Oh, my friend? Oh, she got taken on by Divine Racing. The father and the son accepted her and she is racing for them and you should see her new uniform. It is so awesome. It is actually fireproof. Well, well, I represent Heaven's Cup. Did you know that Divine Racing sponsors another racing team called Black Cloud Racing? I'm one of their racing recruiters. Here, just hold on, let me, let me get my business card. Uh, here, 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 here. I, I didn't know there was another team that oh, oh, Divine Racing sponsors. Let me introduce myself. I am Snide, Richard Ernest Mark, but everyone who's anyone calls me Snide Remark. <laughs> oh, uh, Black Cloud Racing? Is that you? Oh, yeah, 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 well, you see, you see, we try to keep it quiet around here, around these racing, racing circles. The father and the son have a little racket on the side. Know what I mean? Nope, haven't got a clue what you're talking about. Listen, doorknob, wake up and smell the coffee. The father and the son have this betting and gambling ring happening. They use Black Cloud as their guinea pigs. We always lose, so they get the big bets. And they get the big butts, and we get paid dirt. That is totally bogus. I know for a fact that Divine Racing is completely straight up. They don't do anything illegal. You've had your, whoever's been telling you this stuff is way off track. Somebody has been lying to you. Well, excuse me for living. Okay, enough of the chit chat. <laughs> uh, I'm offering you a chance to get in on the ground floor of a dynamic racing experience. Uh, you look like a bright person. How would you like to have your name engraved on Heaven's Cup as the next winner? That sounds cool. Divine Racing has promised me an opportunity to practice with them and improve my skills at racing. Uh, would you forget about Divine Racing for a minute? Those bunch of losers, man, they wouldn't know a real winner if they jumped out and bit them on the nose. All they're interested in is keeping the rules and spoiling all of the fun for the rest of us. Uh, look, you look like a real winner. Hmm. I can just see you now. Oh yeah, naming the lights, adoring things, parties, photo shoots. Oh yeah, you're like a real winner. Well, the father promised me my name on a cop. If I went in the race and stayed and finished. Father Schmother! Yeah, he just says that so you will join the team. But I heard from an inside source that he's just trying to use you. Once he's done with you, he like spits you out just like lukewarm water. So, here's the plan, Slipmock. If you race with Black Cloud Racing, we'll give you a chance at the championship without even practicing. All we ask <laughs> is that you come in first place and win the cup for me. I mean, Black Cloud Racing. Now, how can I win when I haven't even had any practice racing? My driving skills sure would have to improve a whole lot for me to be able to race with the big boys. 
I have a plan <laughs> that will solve all your problems, winner. <laughs> all you have to do is, is cause a little diversion on the track. In the last few laps, be the cause of a little accident. <laughs> now, how am I even supposed to do that? Well, just hold on a minute. You see, then you be out front and take the checkered flag. All you have to do is like just maintain your position and 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 your laps as they wag the yellow flag of caution. Just keep counting down the laps while they clean up the mess. Eliminate the competition is my motto. Suppose I cause an accident and still remain out front? <laughs> I've got something up my sleeve. Your arm? Oh, well, you're pretty sharp for an attack. Come over here. Come over to my car here, and I'll show you a little trick. Just, just hold on a minute. See this, uh, see this can? It looks like a can of oil. <laughs> the judges will never suspect anything. Oh, actually, it's a mixture of oil and gas. Oh, and see this wick? <laughs> oh, if you light it in 15 seconds, the gas will explode, kaboom, causing a fire. Oh, the burning oil will create a heavy smoke screen, and the excess oil will cause a slick. <laughs> oh, oh, and you're going to love this. <laughs> oh, we also filled the can with thumbtacks that will spread all over the track. Every racer behind you will have a blow up on their tires. Oh, it's so awesome. Man, you are so going to get busted. Well, fat chance, Pizza Face. We have it already written into the race commentary that oh, even the best drivers have accidents. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, look, they've all had a flat tire in the last lap. I see a couple of problems with your little plan. First of all, how am I supposed to be out front for the whole race? when I haven't even done any practicing or racing, then I'm supposed to create an accident by lighting this up? Look at me, do I have four arms? What do I do, let go of the steering wheel while I hold on to this fire contraption, while I try to concentrate on lighting it? Where am I supposed to keep the matches? In my pockets? And then, what am I supposed to do? After I light it, now I'm supposed to count to 15s while I'm trying to race the car at 190 miles per hour and then open the window and throw it out while going around a corner? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I'm just not sure how well this plan was thought out. Ooh, ooh, uh, didn't think of that. And another thing, how am I supposed to avoid the thumbtacks? If I finish a lap before they get this mess cleared up, I won't be the one with the flat tires. What do you think I am? A fool or something? Yep, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. You're a fool if you stick with him. Snide, did I just hear you correctly? You called one of my drivers a fool? Let me remind you of a little verse in my Bible. But whoever says, you fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. By the way, if you stick with Black Cloud Racing and you keep playing with fire, you will get burned. Twice. Now, do you get the point? Remember, I'm watching you Snidely Richard Ernest Mark, always watching you. Now, get out of here and leave my driver alone. I'm proud of you for standing up for the truth. You stick with me and your name will be on Heaven's Cup. Good job. Now, let's go try some practice laps. My son will time you and give you some pointers on being an overcomer and a champion. The next flag that we're going to be talking about in our racing series is the yellow flag. Now, the yellow flag means caution, slow down, there is danger ahead. Well, just hold on a minute, I got to get my racing gear on. My hat, I got my uh, earmuffs.
All right, good. I'm good to go. Racing cars traveling at tremendous speeds. Hundreds and hundreds of laps. Incredible speeds that the cars are going. Tires blowing. Engines blowing up. Drivers getting tired. Slick tracks. They all can point to one thing in auto racing, and that could be an accident. The driver tries to avoid the accident, but in just an instant, there, there could be an accident. The pit crew, they work, work tirelessly to make sure that the car is in good running condition, but within just a matter of moments, there could be tire parts and car parts scattered all over the track. The racing officials gather the teams together and says, drive your best, drive your fastest, but be safe. Everything is going smoothly. The drivers are jockeying for a better position. And as, and, and just in a split second, when the cars and the drivers are pushed to their limits, there, there could be a, a, a blowout of a tire. Or there could be oil spewed all over the track because of an, an, an engine blowout. Somebody could spin into the wall. Accidental clipping of a car. Smoke so that they couldn't see. They all could cause an accident. And when the crowd sees it, they go silent as they watch a spin out causing many and multiple car pile up. When the accident takes place, the racing official waves frantically the yellow flag. All the drivers have to slow their speed down. You see, the yellow flag means there is danger ahead. There are hazards. Maybe there's an accident. Maybe a car is stalled on the track. Or maybe there's debris on the track. Or, or even it could be raining lightly. But the official waves the yellow flag saying, Caution! Hazard! Slow down! Once the official waves the yellow flag, there will be no passing. Everybody holds their position as they move slowly around the track. When the yellow flag is being waved, the drivers may be permitted to go into their pit area and get more fuel or get a change of tires or even have their windshield cleaned. There is no changing of position while the yellow flag is being waved. Dipstick had an incident. It occurred at the most inconvenient time. He had a flat tire. Now, he kind of informed us. No biggie! He said, it's only flat on one side. <laughs> Man, it's hard to believe what he was trying to do to change that tire. Can you imagine how much stuff he had in the back of his car when he pulled it all out trying to get the jack of the spare tire? And then when he tried to unloosen the lug nuts from the wheel, the wheel just kept spinning. <laughs> well, it was a good thing that that lady came along and knew how to change a tire. Snidely didn't care whether he caused an accident or, or, or caused somebody to be hurt. All he wanted to do is make sure that he got his hands on the trophy. He wanted Heaven's Cup. His idea was like, it's a sure thing. I don't know why. Bad things happen to good people. Maybe you had to go to a very important event, 
but you had a flat tire and you were late. Maybe you got a brand new bicycle but you fell off and you broke your arm. Maybe you brushed your teeth before you went to bed but you still ended up with a toothache. You tried to do your best at school, but then you heard that somebody cheated and they got the award for the better grade. You get sick and you have to go to the hospital and the doctor talks to you and your parents and, and informs you that you have a disease that could last for the rest of your life. Maybe you were kind to the new kid at school, but everybody made fun of you. You prayed to God that Grandma would get all better, but she died anyways. You know, life isn't always easy. And sometimes... It doesn't seem like it's fair. Jesus said, You will have troubles in this world, but I have overcome. The yellow flag warns the racers that there is danger, or there is a hazard, or there is trouble ahead. And if the racers don't abide, by the yellow flag and by the official, they too could be involved in an accident. The race official is above the starting line and he waves the yellow flag, but he may not be able to see all the way around the track. So the other racing officials will be in contact with him and they will tell him when the track is clear. Until that point when it's all clear, he continues to wave the yellow flag, signaling that there is maybe a stalled car, maybe there's debris on the track, but there is danger ahead and they need to slow down. God sees all, and he knows all, and, and he's watching us as we're on this race. He sees that there is a dangerous situation ahead of us, and he waves the yellow flag. Now, it may be that we can't even control it, like COVID-19, or diabetes, or, or cancer, or any of the other circumstances. It's not your fault but it's a hazard or it's an obstacle that could slow us down, that could cause us to get into trouble if we don't obey God's warning. When God is waving the yellow flag, He's saying, be alert. He's saying, pay attention. He's saying, don't be afraid. He's saying, do what is right. He is saying, follow my word. He is saying, he says, obey me. He says, put your trust in me. You see, God is good. And he knows what's ahead. And he's warning us that there are these obstacles that are in our way. But he says to keep on trusting him. Take my advice. I have it all under control. Troubles, trials, difficulties, disappointments, hurts, pains, misunderstandings, all can sneak up and attack us when we're not watching for it, when we're not expecting it. As it sneaks up and it jumps on us, jumps in front of us, it happens to us, it takes us by surprise. And if we don't continually focusing on Jesus, we could be overwhelmed by the fear and the frustrations of these trials that we go through. 
sometimes the pain is so great that we get mad at God and we want to turn away and we walk away from Him. When bad things happen to good people, this is what God says as He waves that yellow flag. In Isaiah 41 and 10, He says, Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. When disappointments try to sabotage our life, God says these wonderful words. He says, give all your worries and your cares to God, for He cares for you. 1 Peter 5 and 7. When we don't know which way to turn, remember this. The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Ha, huh, man. What a promise. The Lord directs our steps. That's found in Psalm 37, verse 23. When confusion and storms cause you to crash, remember this truth. In Jeremiah 29 and 11, God says to us, He says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for a disaster, to give you a future and a hope. What an incredible God we have. He warns us of the dangers. He waves the yellow flag, warning us that there is trouble ahead, but to keep on going, don't throw in the towel, don't give up. What an incredible God we have. He's watching over us. When God waves the yellow flag, signifying that there is danger ahead, there is obstacles ahead, there are hazards ahead, don't go rushing headlong into it. Slow down. Put your trust in God. Remember this. God is for you. He's not against you. God is for you. He's not against you.